Good morning, everybody. It's not beautiful outside today. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of raining a little bit. It's cloudy, 77 degrees, but nonetheless, the market is doing great today. AMC GameStop doing phenomenal. Who do we have first in the chat? We got Pudgy first in the chat. What's going on, Pudgy? Pudgy Diamond, Victor, John J, Pudgy, Dark Matter, John J, John J, Frank, Victor, Prinkleton, Pudgy, Victor. Thank you for the 11 month member chat. Still waiting on that blue wrench. Nice, man. I'm, uh, Victor, I'm glad you're still waiting on it, dude. I'm glad you haven't give up, give, given up. I'm glad you haven't given up yet. Victor, never give up, man. One day it will come. Dark Matter, Nick F, what's going on? Victor Pringleton, Victor King Mamba, Dark Matter, King Mamba, at R-R-S-T. Simonino, first in the chat today. Yeah, right. N-O-P-E, Pudgy says. N-O-P-E to your F-I-R-S-T. I, I like that one, Pudgy. That's a good one. Victor, good morning to you, Pringleton. Pudgy, Simon, what is going on? Let's go check this market out because it is looking great so far, guys. We get AMC sitting at 2547 at the moment. It is up 15% on the day. Beautiful gains so far today. Pulling back a little bit, yes, but nonetheless, magnificent gains in AMC. Shiba Inu coins still sitting up 3% today. Coming back down a little bit from that 12.6 resistance. But nonetheless, it is sitting at 1240 right now. GameStop hitting some Big old green candles there, up $5.11, 12.77% on the day for GameStop. The QQQ dropping down a little bit this morning, sitting at 322.19, 0.14% higher at the moment, bouncing back into the green right there. The NASDAQ. Uh, third of a percent higher right now, 12.704. GameStop, we just talked about it. Bureau Therapeutics, 83 cents. It is down 0.35% on the day. Uh, AMC up 15% on the day, 25.47. We've got Ethereum sitting at 17.70. It was above $1,800 per coin. Insane gains on Ethereum. Shiba sitting at 12.40. We've got Bitcoin sitting at 24,000. Sundial, $2.76. Not bad considering it's up 10% on the day, but we still have a long way to go before Sundial starts to hit some decent moves movement here. Sundial has been trending downwards for quite some time, and this is a daily chart, so we need to see some big gains following that reverse split that they did there in Sundial. But nonetheless, up 9% today. Mullen Auto sitting at 78 cents, down 8% on the day. CEI, 36 cents per share. The SPY is up a quarter of a percent right now. BBIG still suspended. We've got Highcroft Mining, barcoding at $1.03. Netflix, $235. Netflix making some moves today, up 3.69%. Redbox getting hit pretty hard, down 12% on the day, 4.44. Clovis sitting down 11% on the day, $1.47 right now. Boxed sitting at $1.99. Revlon down 1%, sitting at $8.53. Terra Luna Classic still chilling at 10,000 points per coin. And then NASDAQ or QQQ sitting 0.16% higher at $322.25. We'll keep our eye on that for a while. Look, Clay, what's your take on these markets? Diamond, man. My honest take on these markets is that they don't make sense. They, they don't make sense. You know, we've got some... We've got some massive gains happening over the last month or so. This is, I mean, we can look at the NASDAQ if you want, but this basically is the NASDAQ's ETF. The NASDAQ posting some massive gains over the last month or so, and we have literally not had any good news. We have actually had worse news than before. So how do you justify that? The only thing that I can come up with is that investors, specifically retail investors, are tired of the declines. Now, does that indicate a turning of the overall market? It could if the over if the economy turns back around and catches up to the market. If the market catches back up to the economy, I do think we've got some downside left. But nonetheless, man, it has been a, a great month or so right here, posting nothing but green lines despite all of the bad news that we've been having. So yeah, it, my take on the market, it doesn't really make sense right now with people buying on bad news, but hey, dude, people can buy whenever they want. I'm just glad they're buying. Uh, I should have bought Ethereum when I had the chance. Dark Matter, I, sp I personally still think we have the chance. I personally still think we have the chance. Crypto doing very well right now. It was this morning. Crypto is doing well on the idea of the Ethereum merge, yes, but also on this Coinbase BlackRock deal. People expect that we opened the floodgates for $10 trillion to flow into the cryptocurrency market by this deal between Coinbase and BlackRock. 
Personally, don't think that that is true because I don't think that BlackRock is going to liquidate all of their current assets and move everything over to cryptocurrency. I don't see that happening. So it's kind of like an unfounded optimism, this deal between uh, BlackRock and Coinbase. But nonetheless, man, uh, people are reacting positively to it. Uh, matter of fact, we do have another Singapore centralized cryptocurrency exchange that is halting withdrawals. So one by one, we're up to like five or six of them now that are stealing people's money. And, and that's going to plague the crypto, the crypto market. Um, more than a lot of people are giving attention to right now. Uh, I'll become a bro. I have spoken. Hit that like button. Join the channel. Become a bro. All of that good stuff. I have spoken. Yes, man. Listen to I have spoken. And subscribe for sure. Wait, what is Ford Motor Company at this morning? Interesting. You know, I did not look at Ford this morning. Let's see where these bad boys are right here. $15.80 this morning. Ford is sitting at $15.80 right now, bouncing nicely off these $10 lows recently, already up 50% in the last month, man. Look at this. Ford is up 50% in the last month. It is crazy for a company with a $60 billion market cap, but nonetheless crazy for a company as old and as saturated as Ford is. So 50% gains in a month there, absolutely incredible to see that. Hopefully they continue on. You know, we we they have fallen through this ascending level of support here. Hopefully they can get back up above it, but nonetheless, doing pretty well at $15.80 this morning. No, oh, not the one I wanted. I want this one. Wrong page, man. Don't click on the wrong page. What would you do that for? I have spoken, has folk spoken. Factual facts, man. I have spoken. I like it. Listen to this guy. And also, you know what you should do? You should... Join the Discord if you haven't done so already. Oh, man, I barely have any water in here. That's bad news. It's bad news. JJ, man, good morning, JJ. How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well with uh, with the stocks that we watch here with AMC and GameStop, man. Discord, Jif, I love them. Heck yeah. John J, we do have this. We do have GIFs in the Discord for anybody who is a green name or a pink name in the Discord. So if you guys got a green name in the chat here, make sure to join the Discord. And I don't, I mean, let let JB know for sure. But I can technically give you guys green names too in the Discord. So if you're in there, let's uh, let's make sure you guys get a green name. If you get a green name in the YouTube channel, and you get added perks like being able to add, I think pictures and gifs and stuff like that. So very cool. If you guys want the added privilege of doing that, otherwise, you know, it's just gonna be nothing but spam and potentially bad pictures. Don't do it. This is not a Claybro OnlyFans Discord. This is a Claybro Discord. Win salsa. Dude, salsa. I actually do need to make some salsa, man. I got some tomatoes, onions, some avocados, too. I need to make some salsa, though. I haven't made salsa in a while. You have a Discord? You never mentioned it. Pringleton, yes. Yes, I do. I imagine that. I have a Discord. And you know what? It is free. So anybody that wants to join it should join it because it's fun, man. Trap dog, what's going on? I got 86th from Discord. I don't even know what 86 means, man. Like you got you. What happened? Pudgy. Pudgy. Discord didn't work out for you, man. I don't know what's going. What does 86 mean? You got nixed from the dis the, the Discord there. You got taken out. I think that might be what we're talking about there. All right, guys. Little update. AMC still performing phenomenally today. Even after the halts this morning, we did have a couple halts. If you look at the five-minute chart, where are we at on AMC? AMC performing very well today. This candle right here, I believe this one, resulted in a halt. Ah, it could have been this one. So this candle right here resulted in a halt. We opened back up and started moving higher. Um... Uh, I don't know which one it was, actually. It was one of these candles, maybe in between the two. Started moving higher, and then tapped 27.50, pulled back a little bit. I believe, did it halt on the way down right here? 
Does anybody remember if it halted on the way down? I was watching it. I think we did get two halts there. Halted on the way down and is a bit a little bit tra trading a little bit more steady throughout the rest of the day right now. But nonetheless, sitting at 25.43 right now, up 14.5% on the day. I'm telling you guys, people are reacting very positively to the news of this dividend. Okay. My my uh my first thought this morning was, man. You know, if this dividend is going to expose all the billions of synthetic shares that are out there, why are people buying right now? They would simply be buying synthetic shares. They wouldn't be getting a dividend. Why would they be buying right now in anticipation of receiving a dividend? They're not going to receive it if these shares are synthetic. <laughs> so I don't know. It was kind of counterintuitive this morning when I was thinking about it. But nonetheless, AMC doing very well. And GameStop, finally following AMC instead of AMC following GameStop. GameStop up 12% because AMC is up 14% right now. Absolutely loving the action in AMC and GameStop this morning. Beautiful to see everybody back. Well, not everybody back in the green, but a lot of people back in the green that had averages in the lower 20s there. Got to try to smoke sausage and a taco with nacho cheese. Ridiculous. I do have some sausage, man. I do have some sausage that I can make. Is anyone considering buying Ape without owning AMC? I'm not. I'm not. I don't know if anybody else is. Chris says, Clay, aren't you supposed to be on vacation or something? Why are you here? Also, Adam Aaron is no silverback. Just seeing the dandruff fall. <laughs> Oh, God. Chris, I love it, man. And I listen, I do agree with you. And I know there's going to be people that disagree with that, for sure. But no, vacation starts on uh, the 11th. I'm, I'm flying down to Florida on the 11th. Um, let me put it this way. I'm not 100% sure. I definitely won't be going live during the afternoon session on the 11th. Um, definitely won't be live during the afternoon session because I'll be at the airport. Um, but I may or may not. It is a tentative schedule for Thursday. I may not go live Thursday morning. We'll have to see how that goes. I, I like, I want to go live. Maybe I go live slightly earlier if possible. Or just, you know, for a half hour or something, just to <laughs> kind of say goodbye to you guys before the vacation begins. Um, but I may or may not do a full live stream or a live stream Thursday morning. If you guys are cool with that, uh, plane leaves Thursday afternoon slash evening. So depending on making sure that, that I got, like, you know, videos for the day ready to go, scheduled, um... And just making sure that I can get to the airport, you know, like get to the airport on time. So we'll see. We'll keep it tentative for Thursday morning live stream. It could either happen earlier or it could happen like just for a short, uh, a short time. So we'll see what goes on there. Uh, but nonetheless, guys, will really there be more apes than AMC available? Yes, eventually. Outdoor smile. At the start, there's only going to be a one-for-one. One, but it, as soon as Adam Aaron wants to dilute it more, then there will be more. Well, you know, institutions are going to sell and not hold like us. Yes, that is... I believe that to be true. Michael! Fist bump. Fist bump. Fist bump. Michael, man. I, dude, I, I love some of your guys' consistency, though. You know what I mean? Like, Michael always coming in with a fist bump. Fist Bump, you got Pudgy trying to be first in the chat every day. Absolutely love it, man. We got uh, Bobby. Bobby likes the... <laughs> AMC Trapper and Crypto Rocketeer. Boom, peace out of the Dominant Hand Apes and the Shiba. Oh, you guys I love the consistency, man. It's, great. it's good stuff. It really is. How long are you going to be gone? Dark Matter to the following weekend. So 10 full days, but it will be, it's going to go fast, man. Vacations always go way too fast. Click dash cam because bro road trip stream special. Dude, I should dash cam. Can you live stream on an airplane? I don't even know if you could live stream on an airplane. I, I, technically, I think you could. Like if you got Wi-Fi, right? Why couldn't you live stream on an airplane? 
Let's go, man. Dash cam the airplane. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen, man. Dash cam in the airplane. I technically don't know if you can go live on an airplane or not, but I do think that that would be cool. Uh, probably won't happen, but nonetheless, I do think it would be cool. Live from the airport. This is Clay Bro, live from the airport. Peace out all the time. And you guys, you guys do know, like, I'm not stupid, right? I know for a fact, if I was live in the airport, you guys would be doing nothing. If everybody around in TSA, walking through TSA, you guys would be sending nothing but salt shakers, hot dogs, and banana stickers the entire time that I'm trying to make it through security. Like, I, I'm not dumb. I know you guys would. <laughs> I know you guys would do that for sure. Oh, man. So, yeah, probably not going live in the airport. You know, I'm sitting there on the plane next to somebody and eating bananas all day. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. You guys, like, you guys actually think I'm dumb or something. I know you'd put me through that. I know you would. Flight has Wi-Fi. What airplane? What's airplane mode for it? Chris, I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Florida. I'm going to be in Florida. Florida Simon just missed it. Yes, he did. M.O.D. Thank you for the super sticker for kind of for consistency's sake. Yes, for consistency's sake. Emma D says for consistency's sake. Let's see a little unicorn that meows. If you know what I mean, we got the horn right here, the unicorn horn. Oh yeah, that's a good looking horn right there. Emma D. Thank you very much, Emma D, for the meowing unicorn. Really appreciate that, Emma D, staying consistent, ladies and gentlemen. I love it, and you know you do them too. Bring Pringleton, who wouldn't do them? Who wouldn't do them if they were given a super sticker? Who's not gonna do it? You gotta do it if somebody gives you a super sticker, man. Bro, you just started a new airline without knowing it. Claybro Airlines, slug and fly with us and become a bro. Yes, dude. And when you get when you board and the pilot's like, are you guys ready? Let's get started. If flying to Florida sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. Oh yes, man. And then when you obviously when you guys are departing. <laughs> uh, Alright, you guys know what time it is. Daddy says it's time to get hard. Not. I hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day. Yeah, he'd have to throw in some. He'd have to throw in some turbulence like that for sure. Tectonic have a good burn system. That actually, Giovanni, I have no idea. Does anybody know of tectonic burns? I I do not know that at all. Yep, we take over the Voyager and then the airline industry. Dark matter. I would love to take over Voyager. I read a couple things on Voyager, man. Y you know, what they're trying to do with their bankruptcy proceedings is convince the judge that that money is their money, not our money. All of our deposits belong to Voyager, not us. They're not even loans at that point. If I lent you, guys, if I lent you my eight ball, you know, you would still say, yeah, this is Clay Bros eight ball. I'm just borrowing it right now. You wouldn't say, this is my eight ball. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do that. Voyager is claiming that even if we did lend it to them, they're claiming it's theirs, not ours. It's beyond my, my beyond my belief, beyond my comprehension. Part of Florida, are you going? It might bump into you, just get an actual fist bump. Michael, I'm going to be on the Gulf Coast, man. Go up and down the Gulf Coast. Try to find me. It's going to be the Gulf. I should po I should post uh like beach I should post some beach videos or some beach clips on like Twitter or something and then see who can find me first. We'll do oh man, I'll do like an actual buried treasure. <laughs> Wouldn't that be sweet, dude, to go out go out and bury something on the beach and then you guys actually do know the Florida beaches and then you go find buried treasure for real? That would be awesome. Uh, okay, and now are you, now you are all witnesses, I've been saying something for two weeks now, still on 11 months, 28 days, was 23 days all week last week. Chris, definitely something wrong with YouTube's ability to count. Gizla, thank you very much for the, <laughs> yeah, Gizla, <laughs> yeah, Gizla. <laughs> yeah, Gizla. Thank you very much, Gizla, for the super stick. This is why I can't go live. This is why I can't go live in an airport, man. You guys are gonna have me going, ooh, yeah, Gizla. You get, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. The pilot's gonna kick me off that plane for sure. I'm getting worried. Kyle, what are you, what are you worried about? 
when you're when you're descending steeper <laughs> no maybe when i'm ascending dude i don't want the pilot saying steeper steeper a dude starts to go into a nosedive nah man that, that definitely ain't happened what are you doing in florida soaking up the sun simon soaking up the sun and i'm gonna try and make i'm gonna try and make friends with all the the little bunny rabbits and chipmunks down in florida too Zion's good morning, Clay. We're up four in the morning here. Eleven minutes till four twenty. My gosh, dude, why are you awake? Zion's channel. Why are you awake right now? That's way too late. It's called geocache. Keith Kemp, man. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna call it brocaching. Brocaching for sure. I'm gonna go bury you guys some shirts on the on the beach, and you guys can go find them. Who are you gonna go crocodile hunting in Tampa, Florida? Dude, if I can go crocodile hunting, I will, man. I'll go pet that crocodile and make friends with the crocodile for sure. Oh, uh, they would be like, this dude's on Ella. They would. Yeah, dark matter. They would definitely I, I would I would definitely get pulled over and probably stretched strip searched by by TSA. And then I'd be like, no, 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 guys. Look, I, I promise I'm not on drugs. Look, look what these look what these idiots make me do on YouTube. Here here is my YouTube. They send me salts. I I like this is just salt. It's salt. <laughs> it's salt, man. That's what you get to do with it. It's salt. And then the banana. You just take the banana and then you, and it make me eat a banana. Yeah. Uh, the pilot would be like, all right. It's okay. Let this guy go. He's obviously got some mental health issues. Just a matter of time before someone borrows those 3.4 million shares that are available for AMC. We are all waiting for the games to start, right? Yes, we are, Crypto Rocketeer. What day did the game start? Did the game start on the 19th or did the game start on the 22nd? That's what I want to know. Likes, people, get them up. Oh, you guys get three minutes to get the likes above 50. If you don't, I'm hitting you with an ad right in the face, too. If you went live, I would send like 10 fist bumps. <laughs> oh, okay, see, that's what I'm saying. And I know Simon would be hitting me up with 10 salt shakers and AMC Trap would be hitting me up with 10 bananas. Yeah, I know you guys would. We should have lizards and fire ants. Not your friends oh the lizards are my friends for sure man the lizards are my friends for sure fire ants no i'll stay away from those guys lizards definitely what i think is gonna happen with voyager uh junior i'm gonna be completely honest with you man and and just blunt trust me when i tell you that i like i don't want this to happen because i do have my money on voyager as well i think we're gonna wait a while i, I don't think it's gonna be anything immediate I don't even honestly think it's gonna happen before the end of the year i, I think it's gonna be a while before we see a resolution I think we're going to end up getting a portion of our money back. Maybe a very slight portion in the actual cryptocurrency that we own, and then another slight portion in VGX token or shares of Voyager, the outstanding, like like actual shares, equity in the company. Um, I know it's kind of pessimistic. Uh, it's kind of a pessimistic and bearish outlook, but I... I one, I don't have a good feeling about it. Okay, I, I think that these kind of these guys are kind of scummy and scammy that are that are out there running these centralized exchanges right now. Um, but two, it might be like a defense mechanism for me to kind of write it off in my brain right now, so that in case it it does turn out better than expected, um, I, I've kind of already internalized the the negativity and stuff, so that I I would be hopeful if it turns out better than expected so i uh, i've unfortunately got a bearish outlook on it i, I think it, we will receive a portion of our crypto back 50 percent 40 percent 30 percent 70 percent like i don't know what the actual portion is going to be i just can't imagine getting it all i would still be happy let's say i got 20 percent of my usdc because remember the vast majority uh, on Voyager sitting in USDC. If I got my USDC back, 20% of it, okay, man, that sucks. But if they literally gave me the other 80% in VGX and I could just sell VGX, I, I would still be okay with it. I would say, I really don't care if they give it to me in, in Flokimon Inu. You know, I, I just, I would really like 100% back. I don't care how they do it. I'm expecting less than 100% back, though. I would get you so hard in the air, but yeah, man. JJ be sending them diamonds. He'd be like, you guys know what time it is. It's time to get hard. And dude, I'd be sitting. Like, I'd be sitting. Oh, man. It, just, it would never work out for me to go to the airport with you guys on here. I know it wouldn't. Hey, 
I've not been on the fake share train, but if this does come out and there aren't any, wouldn't it be kind of at the, begin the uh, beginning of the end? Well, uh, eventually lose control. Chris, let me say this, man. Let me say this. Yes. Okay. And, to, but also let me say this, you know, I, I do want to, I want to make that clear in some of the videos that I've been posting recently, but there's a drastic difference in, in the amount of people and in the quality of people that watch the AMC videos that I post and you guys here on the live stream. <clears throat> so like there's a lot of people who click the dislike button a lot of people who dislike you know the reality of the situation when it comes to what's happening and people are excited like i can't deny the excitement surrounding amc right now you guys can see it's sitting at 25 dollars and 25 cents that's excellent but the vast majority of comments that i have received on on these AMC videos and the vast majority of dislikes that I've seen on on the recent AMC videos it is very clear that everybody minus maybe a select few are radically banking on the existence of fake naked synthetic shares and do I like I I will maintain this till the end I don't think that we need those I don't think that we need those to to watch AMC squeeze. But here's the difference. If we don't see these synthetic shares, if they're not brought to light by this dividend, in my opinion, they won't be, right? In Adam Aaron's opinion, they won't be. What we have then is potential unlimited dilution. And it is potential. Adam Aaron may not go out there and do it right away. And he may do it in a very smart, slow way to continue and maintain the price of Ape at $10, $15 a share and, and be able to use that as a stronger currency. But nonetheless, man, as soon as they are able to own, one of two things is going to happen with this Ape situation. Either retail is going to have to eat it up and retail is going to have to hand over another $50 billion directly to the pockets of AMC and maintain control, or the institutions are going to be able to buy control of AMC. Um, that, and, I mean, there's no other way. There's no other way to put that. If the institutions regain control, think about it. If, if they have 500 million shares of APE, even if you and I go out and sell our shares of Ape, if they have 500 million shares of Ape, if they control the vote, they don't need to buy a share of AMC. They just need to control the vote. And then they vote to convert to AMC. They have all the AMC they need. So I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it could be the beginning of the end either way. Beginning of the end for synthetics exposed and the squeeze happens or beginning of the end in the fact that, well, dilution has now begun. And it's only a matter of time before they own more than us. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about my life. Oh, and you skip lunch for this stream because people in your truck don't know how to shower or do laundry on the weekends. Freaking starving for food. Oh, my God, dude. I don't want to see you have to skip lunch or whatever because people don't know how to shower. That is not good. All right, let's see. Did I miss anything? I don't know if I missed anything, but I do have Yachtow, man. I'm on vacation to Miami, too. Bro, drink on me. Yachtow, man. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that super chat. And uh, Miami. Miami's busy, dude. Miami's a, a cool place. I have been to Miami uh, a few times. Miami's busy, though, man. You on Miami Beach? You on South Beach? Where you at, dude? Where you at? Cause Miami, like Miami, is a pretty cool place. I've been to Miami; it is awesome. Yak, yak. So I hope you're having a good time on vacation down in Miami right now. Good deal, man. Do you think there's a way that we've missed that they're they're able to get the same results without naked shorting? Pringleton, you mean like the the hedge funds getting the same results, or um, like AMC still able to get the same results that it wants? I I. I think I might have misunderstood the question or might not be getting the question right. Are we talking from a hedge funds perspective or are we talking from AMC's perspective and our perspective? Good morning, everyone. Can't participate in the chat much, but I'm here listening. Peek. 
like a power. Thank you for being in here listening. Really appreciate that. Uh, so, we just held as long as we did to only end up losing after non-stop hearing Ames would never squeeze out free. Dude, Chris, I did not listen. I don't want to, I don't want to be the guy that says, yeah, we lost or anything like that. Um, because we can eat the dilution, right? We ate the dilution in 2021. It, it was very unfortunate, but if you're looking at a daily chart, and Adam Aaron, you know, he says that AMC was benefited greatly from the smart dilution they did in 2021. You guys have to remember that this, this is when he sold. He sold in this area right here. To Mudrick Capital and these other institutions. He literally sold in this area right here and potentially stopped the price from going any higher. Nobody knows how high it would have gone because it was diluted massively right here. When we were dropping, you know, he diluted it at like $35 or $50 a, a share or something. We, we ate a lot of dilution. We ate a ton of shares in 2021. And the last thing that I want to see, knowing that there was only a maximum of 500 million shares that could have gone into existence and they went into existence, how can we possibly eat 10 times that many? Do we eat them over the next 10 years? Is this something that we wait on for 10 years, slowly eating hundreds of millions of shares at a time to retain control? Uh, like, do we slowly, slowly just continue paying our uh, everything we own into AMC? And that money goes directly to AMC at that point. Of course it's beneficial for AMC, man. If AMC is able to go out and raise $1.6 billion, of course that's beneficial for AMC. How much more are they going to raise before it's our turn? How much more? I don't know, man. I hope not much more. I'm going to guess Siesta Beach. You can guess what you want to guess, Michael. But I'm not going to tell you which beach because then you'll show up on the beach. No, maybe I could. Maybe I will post like a... Uh, you guys ever seen them walk-along videos that they do? Them 4K walk-along videos? Maybe I'll post a 4K walk-along video. Oh, that actually could be a... Dang it, that might be a bad idea. You know what? Maybe I do. Maybe I do do a couple things like that while while I'm down there. Um, obviously, if I posted the video on YouTube, I would have to I would have to label it what beach it is. But it, maybe I do something like that, man. Maybe we do a couple giveaways. If you guys can guess this beach or guess where guess where I'm at or something like that, you guys end up winning a free shirt. Join the Discord if you want to play that game because I can post a video in the Discord or post a private video in the Discord or something. Um, but if I post it on YouTube, I'd have to, I'd have to label it, and then you guys would clearly understand. Like you guys would clearly get the name because it would be in the title. That would be like that would be a fun game, because Pika and JB they're already getting shirts. I don't know where JB's at right now if he's in here or not. But Pika and JB are getting shirts. I want you guys to win one too. We don't have to say we lost to see if there is no fake shares. It's a If there's no, here, here's, here's my, like, I guess, hesitation with that. If there was no fake shares, but no potential for dilution, I say it's still on. If there's no fake shares and continuous dilution, I, I mean, it, it's either we lose or we eat another 5 billion shares. If there is fake shares, I was actually talking about this with my dad for... Oh, God, dude, it might have been an hour yesterday. So here's my here's my problem with the fake shares, right? Because, and I don't know if he's listening right now or not either, but um, he, he views a lot of this stuff and, and sees uh, people talking and, and posting all of this stuff about uh, synthetic shares, naked shares, and so on. And it's very convincing. And he starts to believe it. And then I come in with a couple questions, and and I'm like, and then he starts to believe that, and I start to cast some doubt on those fake shares. So it's very, um, let me pose this question, okay? If it comes out 
that there are fake shares. We're not going to know how many. Okay, it's going to be blamed on the brokers for not getting you those shares. Same exact situation that's happening with GameStop right now. It's blamed on the brokers. The brokers don't get it from the DTCC. The DTCC isn't going to give it to the brokers. They're going to give it to the investors. They're telling you to do this. GameStop's going to be taken private so that they can get a full share count and so on. If there's no record of them, ever existing whether that was fraudulently covered up by by the brokers themselves whether their ftd just never hit whatever the reasoning is we're still not going to have a count if you don't have those shares if you don't receive your share of ape it's just going to be well you say you didn't get it you say you didn't get it i say i didn't get it that's three of us that didn't get a total of you know 100 shares that we were supposed to receive but nobody can go out and, and do a an all inclusive count of who didn't get their shares of ape at that point with all of the different brokers across the globe it, it's it's a Sticky situation, man. JB says, Clay, see my last message. His last message said, see ya, Dave. Oh, did it? Yes. Uh, JB says, Clay, not banging on synthetic naked shares, which is why I plan on exiting my position before the special dividend. JB, man, could definitely be a... a look, look, we are on a nice rally right now, right? And here's something that you guys could do too. Don't take this as financial advice, right? But... Think about this, and, and hopefully I can get all these options videos ready to go. It's definitely going to be a busy week, but hopefully I can get these options videos ready to go as well. But if this is something that you, like JB's situation right there, okay, and maybe JB is ready. Maybe JB is ready, and he doesn't believe there's naked shares, like Adam Aaron says there's no naked shares, and he's, he's ready to get out prior to this dividend. Could turn out to be a great situation, but let's imagine, and I, I do believe so, that JB is has had his shares of AMC for more than a year, and and he wants to sell them prior to the dividend, but then all of a sudden, okay, after the dividend comes, he's like, crap, I wish I would have held right now, because now if I buy in, it's start, there's, there's starting to become evidence of naked shares or something. There's starting to become evidence that we really could, you know, be uncovering something ridiculous. Let's say JB's got 100 shares, right? JB could buy a protective put. And it would be almost the equivalent of selling those shares right now and locking in that profit target, locking in that price point. If he sells, or yeah, if he's, no, if he buys a, buy a protective put, I don't know if I said sell a protective put or buy a protective put, but he buys a protective put. It's an insurance policy. If the price goes down, JB, yes, will be losing on his shares, but he's going to be gaining on the put that he has. And in the event that it does come to light that something bad was going on out there, JB still has his shares at a um, long-term capital gain because he's held them for over a year. So he was still able to take advantage of that downside because he bought a protective put. If not, you know, let, let's just say that it doesn't come to light. Let's say that none of these, there's no synthetics exposed and, and it, you, you feel like it's your time to move on. At that point, all you would do is sell your shares of AMC and, and close out your put as well. And then you still maintain that same value that you had when you bought that put. Because the gain in the put offset the loss in in your shares. So that could be something to consider, you know, thinking a lot of us already have long-term capital gains on our positions at this point in the game. I would imagine nearly everybody does have your, your long-term capital gains at this point. Uh, let's see, let's see, where are we at here? I know I missed up. We're going to have to just catch back up with uh, uh, what's going on here. Dude, you have to try Thomas Donuts if you're in PCB. Thomas Donuts. Clowny, I, I'll put it on my radar. If I see a Thomas Donuts anywhere, I'll have to put it on there. It's not synthetics or phantoms, it's FTDs. 
Yeah, so the FTDs, man, the, the FTDs, though, I hope you're looking at those numbers on the FTDs correct, though, not a not as accumulation, but as a, a rolling total. So whatever that last number was that shows up on that FTD list is the uh, amount of FTDs that are outstanding. It's not a cumulative list. It, it is uh, might be cumulative, whatever, whatever the definition of that means. That last number you saw, that daily number is not how many happen per day. It's it's how many are actually outstanding. Uh, let's see. Good morning, all you glorious apes. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. AMC running. AMC and Jimmy running today. LFG to the moon. Frodo, dude, they are they are rolling today, man. There's no denying that people are excited about AMC and GameStop right now. AMC up 12 percent. GameStop up 11 percent right now. AMC up 13%. I'm like, what the heck? The Nasdaq's up 13%, but no, we had the we had AMC up there. Nasdaq actually dropping back down into the red at the moment. Uh, hey guys, I gotta go. Have a good no dark matter. Enjoy your lunch, man. Enjoy your afternoon, and we will definitely see you back here in the afternoon stream. Clever, the AMC price is cut in half, ten to fifteen dollars a share. Can't the shorts cover it realistically squeeze back to the current price? Uh, can't the short cover and realistically sweet? Yeah, yeah, JJ. So they definitely can, man. But here's the thing, though. They, they, you know, they're going to owe. It's not like the the price is just going to get cut in half. They, uh, the shorts are still going to owe shares of Ape to everybody. Being seeing as how this is a dividend, they're gonna have to go out there and and buy up shares of Ape to make sure that they deliver to everybody that needs a share of Ape. So they are going to get hit on this dividend, right? They're they're going to get hit. And it's not necessarily something that's going to cause them to go out and squeeze or to go out and cover their shorts, but it they can at any time, yes man, drop the price in half and then shoot the price back up if they go to cover and so on. Here's the thing though. Now they have a light at the end of the tunnel in the fact that dilution is all but guaranteed. Dilution through Ape. It will dilute AMC, despite what a lot of people on social media are telling you it's gonna do. Naked shorts kind of like dark matter. We can't see it directly, but we know it's there because of its effects and causes. How was the price action suppressed like it was without manipulation? Frodo, I'm not going to lie, dude. The price the price action, yes, I, I do feel like has been suppressed. But, um, you know, if you're looking, how was it suppressed at the $70 range? Adam Aaron diluted tens of millions or hundreds of millions of shares in that $70 range. So dilution did have a factor at that price point as well. And I also believe, and you guys know this, like I've said this probably a hundred times, I don't believe that every retail investor is simply holding. I believe there's a lot of retail investors out there who are buying, are selling, and don't necessarily care about the buy and hold concept, but are willing to take their profits and and profit off what everybody's doing right now. Do we have an indication of the price? Uh, for she was spiked to nearly one cent. I've been holding for 24 months. Do we have an indication on when the price for for Sheba was spiked to nearly one cent? Okay, no, Tommy, unfortunately, man, I don't know when Shiba Inu coin would be spiking up to one cent. I do think that it's going to take a while to get to that range, though, man, because that's a $6 trillion valuation, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. So we're going to need to see some massive burns take place, man, before we're able to get into that one cent range. I get I'm jumping the gun with this frustration, but I don't care about the long-term gains right now. This is why I hate being so optimistic for situations like this. Yes, Chris. And look, that is true, man. That is true. If you if you don't care about the long-term versus short-term capital gains, I don't think anybody would. If they were given the opportunity to see AMC squeeze up to like two thousand dollars a share, I don't think anybody would care. If well, you know, but I'm just gonna. I hope it holds out at two thousand dollars a share for another two months. So I can get a long-term capital gain. No, dude, take your take your money at that point. Like, overlook any longer short-term capital gains you guys got. Ashish, people be saying SHIB is about to break out. What are your thoughts, bro? So Ashish, I don't know if it's necessarily ready to break out, but I do think that we have some major catalysts on the horizon. I think that Shibarium and I think that this AAA graphics game could be major movers for Shiba Inu coin. Now, I don't like the crypto market right now, okay? 
I, I think that the crypto market is is seeing some let, let's call them unjustified gains we've got crypto moving up on a daily chart very nicely okay and shiba holding really steady at this 12 to 1300 point per coin range and running into a lot of resistance in that area but bitcoin you can see bitcoin's been doing nice but ethereum man ethereum's been killing it over the last month I don't think these gains are justified. I think that the, the overall economy should be weighing harder on crypto than it currently is. Dude, we've got we've got a we're in a recession. And in look, we, whatever your guys' political views are, um there's a lot of money being spent right now. And and more money being spent which is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do right now. Raising interest rates, we are trying to lower spending so that inflation comes down. We are spending record amounts of money. And, and that can only lead to higher inflation. Higher inflation can only lead to higher interest rates and more problems. So I, I personally don't like the market that we're in. I don't like the economy that we're seeing right now. And people seem to be ignoring it. And when you ignore a problem, it usually becomes a bigger problem. So uh, I'm kind of, I'm still pessimistic and, and bearish on the overall economy right now. But nonetheless, man, I, I do think that we need to see these gains like we're seeing continue on if we expect Shiba Inu coin to be able to run up and actually become bullish as opposed to just having a nice a nice spike like something like this we need some massive gains and some massive growth and i don't think we get that without a a bull market or a confident cryptocurrency and a confident environment like a confident um economy People have been saying the AMC squeezes tomorrow every day for now for a year, and now it's about to not happen. So thoughts on what what people are saying? Quit listening to people. Yeah, dude. Um, and I don't think it's about to not happen, right? I I really think it's going to depend on, um, on Adam Aaron's next move. You know, people are. This is this is going to sound bad, and it's going to sound like I'm talking down, but people are blindly optimistic. If it sounds good, they want to follow that. And, and if I tell you you're going to be a millionaire with no worries, you want that to happen. So you're going to believe it. Adam Aaron is just telling the truth to everybody. He's telling the truth to everybody. Ape will be used as a currency to pay down bills, which guarantees that there will be more Ape issued. He does not believe that there are naked or synthetic shares out there, but people think that he's talking in code because he's not allowed to say that there are naked. In, in, he's not allowed to say that there's naked or synthetic shares out there. He could just not comment on it. You know, he does not comment on it if if he didn't believe they're out. Like if he he doesn't believe that they're out there. Um, this dilution. It is going to be good for AMC. It's going to be great for AMC. But it's not going to be great for AMC short squeeze investors. It's going to be good for AMC value investors. People who want to see AMC turn around as a company. People who want to see AMC have a strong balance sheet. This is probably and perhaps the best move to take advantage of retail and rebuild the company. I mean, it's it's phenomenal for AMC, not phenomenal for short squeeze investors. The question was what I was trying to ask earlier, Clay. With a buy sell ratio, if no naked shorts, is there maybe another way to manipulate a what uh, that we've okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pringleton, interesting. Another way to it's like to suppress the price that we've missed. I don't know if there's another way for, okay, so technically, if you want to go the illegal route, yes, there would be a way for um, hedge funds and institutions 
to illegally manipulate the price lower without creating shorts. And God, I f- I'm trying to remember what the what the term is. Um, but what you can't do, I, I forget what the term is right now. What you can't do is is even a retail investor or an institutional investor, you can't trade shares back and forth between yourself. Okay, even if it is, even if you're losing money to lower the price, you have to have some sort of, and I forget the the wording. Darn it, man. Uh, you have to have like there has to be a material difference in the people who are buying and selling these shares. So if you're looking at like Citadel and Citadel Securities or something like that. If they're just passing shares back and forth to increase volume and they're doing it and every time they're doing it, they're losing a cent a share. So they're tanking the price of the company. That's illegal. But no shares were created and no naked shares were created in that in that trading example that I just gave right there. That is illegal, okay? Because there has to be like a material difference in in what's trading hands and there's not in that situation that illegally inflates volume and that illegally deflates the price which they could be doing without the creation of synthetic shares aside from that i don't know if there's any way to manipulate the price lower other than people having this idea that all retail is is simply holding and no retail is selling um, if that proves to be false, that could cause, you know, more selling pressure and, and a legitimate price suppression, right? Because anytime somebody made a five, 10% gain, they sold off and the cycle continued on there. So that wouldn't be the manipulation. That would just be, you know, regular price suppression and, and people not willing to hold beyond a, a certain point, but the manipulation part could have occurred with uh, like the illegal manipulation part could have occurred without the creation of synthetic shares and i know i missed some stuff guys i know i'm, I'm gonna try and catch up back down here we are generally good until dilution of naked shorts and awesome if not becomes a long term yeah pringleton it becomes a play as to whether or not retail then can eat up all the potential dilution that's out there not trying to be naive but why do you feel adam Aaron doesn't believe there is synthetic shares uh j bones because he said there's no synthetic shares that, that's why i believe I don't believe there's synthetic shares, but that I believe uh, why I believe he believes that is because he says, you know, there's no synthetic shares out there. There's no record of any synthetic shares existing and and there's no proof of any synthetic shares existing. So that's why I think that he thinks that. Aaron says that he doesn't see evidence of naked shares, which makes sense because how would he know there were naked shorts? He has access to the same public Correct, Frodo, correct. But here's the here's the part that I always, and I know it's just, it's just circular at this point, right? But the part that I always go back to is that an actual naked short will always be indicated by an FTD. So the, the naked shorts that should exist, right, and do exist, are the ones that are triggered by the trigger an FTD. And those are out there right now. Those are there. Whether they're a couple hundred thousand or a couple million at the moment, I don't know what the current FTD numbers are, but an actual naked short will trigger an FTD. And those FTDs have been cleared up and justified on a timely manner as this entire thing's been going on. The, the naked shorts that a lot of retail investors think exist somehow sidestep triggering an FTD. And that's that I mean that's a different case, man. That's a different case. You're right. If if there are F, if there are naked shares that somehow did not get marked with an FTD, they were delivered, but they never got marked as failed. Um that's a it's a dangerous situation because the the question then becomes, well how? How do we ever know about those? If they were able to sidestep the uh, like the current indicator what do we do in that situation? So, no, I know he's saying that, and I know that he's looking at the FTDs and stuff too. But uh, I wouldn't, any, you know, I wouldn't know any other way. Lucky's thoughts, man. Thank you very much. I've never had this one before. Oh, here, little buddy, take this present. 
Oh, here, little buddy, take this present. Oh, here, little buddy, take this present. Lucky starts, man. Oh, here, little buddy, take this present. Lucky starts. Thank you very much for the super sticker. Really appreciate that, man. I love these little lemon lime head guys. These guys are these, these guys are really cute. I mean, come on. We have an average of 60% or more trade in the dark pools, not lit exchanges. That alone should suppress the price by messing with our order. Yeah, that could. See, the thing that I don't like about dark pools, and I'll agree with you guys all day on that. Okay, I, I don't like dark pools. I think that everybody should be playing on an equal field and, and have the same information available to them. But, nonetheless, dark pool trades still do show up after they occur. They just don't show up before they occur. So if I were to place a limit order out there right now, and it gets routed through the dark pool, it's never gonna show up in level two data. Nobody's gonna know that that, that exists. And, and the crappy thing is, is that if I put my limit order out there, and you put your limit order out there, and, and JB puts his limit order out there, and everybody puts their limit order out there, you know, those are intended to go to a lit exchange. But because the market makers and these guys bundle these orders together, and and they're the ones that are essentially putting the order through they put them through the dark pool and and they get they do get suppressed in that way and then they only show up after they get filled if if you and i were to go hit market order after market order it's not going to show up in level two because it's just going to get filled but nonetheless it, it is going to show up afterwards so i i don't like that part of dark pools and i do agree that that is legal manipulation okay you're legally manipulating who can see the orders that are out there unfortunately it's not illegal but yeah i i don't like that part i don't mind I really, I truly don't mind dark pools if they're used for the the intentions or why they were intent or what they were intended for. Like, dude, if you're a pension and and you want to unload a, a million shares of AMC right now, okay, I get it. You you could put your order out there and it is your legitimate million share order of AMC. You either don't want to cause market panic or you want to be able to have your decent price. I get that. I. I really don't think that that's necessarily bad. But if my 10 share order and your 10 share order and your 100 share order and my 10 share order and everybody else's 10 share orders get bundled together and just sent over to a dark pool because we don't want the price to, to see that it's going up or we don't want to see the volume going up or we don't want to potentially see you know, 10,000 10 share orders that are just locked and loaded and ready to go and people get excited that more people are ready to buy, that that doesn't sit right with me. I don't think that part's right. Uh, with rehypothecation alone, a single share could be lent out and shorted multiple times, not even allowing for naked shorts, just that could cause multiple fl Oh, that's true, man. But those, you got to remember, those are still... Um, those are still counted in the, the short interest numbers that we have. That's why we had short interest that was well above 100% in GameStop back at the beginning of 2021 when this entire thing came out. They can block buy and sell orders together in the dark pool, and it doesn't get reported until later, not in real time, which is, wait a minute, 100% agree, dude. And that part I don't like. I don't mind the dark pools for like its originally intended use. I think that those are okay, but yeah, I, I agree, man. Unfortunately... It's legal manipulation at that point. And, and I agree. I don't like that at all, dude. 50% gain with I left zero in two weeks. Dang it. Caesar, man. 50% gain. Caesar's killing it, dude. Change the name is <laughs> slightly less. Yeah, we're going to change the name to a slightly less bright pool. Ah, we don't have to worry about dark pools anymore. We just got a slightly less bright pool. Trying to be negative, but I hate feeling naive or stupid. And I feel like with this news, we look stupid. So I'm... Um, Chris, he, he, here's the. Let me put it this way: I don't think it's. I don't think we're stupid just yet. Okay, I think that this could be amazing if it actually works out as as retail is hoping that it works out. You know, if we do uncover some synthetic or naked shares with this news, I think it's going to be brilliant, man. I, I think that I think it's going to be awesome and. In you know, my skepticism is grounded in what's reported. 
So if it comes out, I I will love to see that I was wrong and that naked and synthetic shares existed because it truly does mean, man, either we are going to have some massive problems and AMC is going to be suspended for a long time as things are investigated or these guys are going to be in such deep trouble that we all make money like we wanted to and and intended to since the get-go. That part can be incredible. If people just blindly sit here and say, well, I think it's a good idea because Adam Aaron says it's a good idea. Take it from Adam Aaron's perspective. Adam Aaron is trying to make as much money for AMC as possible. He wants to pay off debt, and he wants AMC to have billions of dollars cash in the bank. He can achieve that. And if he has to take it out of my pocket, he'll take it out of my pocket. If he has to take it out of an institution's pocket and give them control of AMC, he'll take it out of an institution's pocket and give them control of AMC. So in a sense, yes, if retail is is not willing or able to buy up an additional 5 billion shares of APE, this could, in one way or another, in a very good way or a very bad way, be the beginning of the end. And we're going to find out. I mean, we're going to find out, dude. Uh, who sold at 27? 2750 would be the, the sale today. If you guys hit at 2750, it would have been a good sell today. But I don't know who was selling, man. I don't know who was selling. I did not sell at, at 27 today. So still holding, still excited, still waiting to see what happens next for AMC stock. Uh, they may or may not be accounted, Clay, because it's all self-reported. They are not required to report their entire short positions, and that is part of the problem. Yeah, uh, I I do agree with that, man. I do agree with that too. Um, in in that would listen, that would result in a higher, uh, like a higher legitimate short interest than what's being reported. I understand where you're coming from. That wouldn't necessarily, because the, the thing with the FTDs and the thing with the naked shorts, though, is that those, if, if they never deliver you a share, if they never borrowed it and can't deliver that share, they failed to deliver it. So that, that would get hit with an FTD. But you are right, man. The actual, like if, if the reported short interest right now is 20%, 100 million shares, the actual short interest could be 40%. 50%, 90%, and so on. It could be that high if they're not reporting it. And like, yeah, like exactly like Frodo says, man, it's, it's a it's a self-reporting. They're not being audited. Uh, I, I don't trust them. Listen, the dude wants some, I, I trust him to do what's right for AMC. And if taking advantage of, of me is right for AMC, I think the dude's going to do it. Diamond popcorn. Switch to AMC popcorn. Diamond popcorn is hard on the teeth. Peak of power. Diamond popcorn is hard on the teeth, man. You got to go. You got to definitely go AMC popcorn on that one. AMC's perfectly popped popcorn or whatever whatever their slogan is, like however he says it, AMC's perfectly popped popcorn. That's what you got to go with, Pika. Pika power. Thank you very much for the super chat. Who bro? ETH two-year prediction. Oh my God, Corey, dude. If we have a Ethereum two-year prediction, depends on an overall bull market or uh, an overall bear market. Okay. Um, let's make an, let's make two assumptions here. If we go into a deep recession, I don't think crypto is going to do well. I think Ethereum could be back down to 2020 levels, man, and we might be sitting at a hundred, two hundred dollars per Ethereum. If if we don't go into a deep recession. And the economy starts to rebound. I absolutely think that Ethereum could do well and not only be testing all-time highs along with the overall cryptocurrency market. If Ethereum continues to build and grow, dude, I wouldn't be surprised to see, you know, seven, eight thousand dollars per Ethereum at that point. Gosh, I know I shouldn't be rubbing my eyes, it's gonna turn all red. But yeah, dude, nonetheless, I, I really truly think that it's gonna be dependent on the overall economy. Heck yeah, brother. Spills daddy. Heck yeah, man. Uh, I only read from this Chris dude. Corey, no, man. I'm reading from everybody. Bro, how do you know if there's any brokers to use in my country, Honduras, Central America, to buy stocks? Carlos. 
Uh, I personally do not know any stockbrokers in Honduras, man. Um, I would say you would be able to search that pretty easily on Google. I I don't know anybody that lives in Honduras, actually. So I wouldn't know where you... Like, I wouldn't know where to go to, to search for those. But it's very simple here. Like, if I was going to do a Google search and, and try to find out U.S. stockbrokers or stockbrokers for me... Uh, it's going to pull up a list of, of so many different stockbrokers. Um, but I, I don't know what's available in Honduras. If anybody does, I mean, let us know. But but I unfortunately don't know. Keith, if a secondary IPO offering is priced lower than the market price, is that good? No. I don't think that's good. So, uh, Pally, Pally, Pally. What is Pally doing? Palisade Bio. So if they've got, and I don't know what they got going on here, right? But if they've got a secondary offering that's coming in lower than the market price, what they're saying is they're willing for some reason to sell shares to the public to raise money at less than this 55 cent price. So they would be, they would be coming out and they're going to say, okay, well, we're going to sell them at 40 cents a share. So they're going to be selling shares at 40 cents a share. It's going to drop the price down to roughly 40 cents or somewhere in between this this 40 and 55 price that it's at right now. They're valuing it at less. They would basically be coming in and saying, we want to raise some quick money. People are definitely going to eat these shares up at 40 cents because it's currently trading at, 40, at 55 cents. And, and they're going to be undercutting the market and dropping the price of their stock if they're doing a secondary offering at a price lower than the market value. Look at the bottom line, is naked shorts or not, this has potential for short squeeze. It's just a question of how high it can squeeze. Even with 100 plus million report, Frodo, definitely, man. I 100% I agree. I just don't like the dilution. I don't like the dilution, man. Um, I, I, I really believe that if the institutions are able to regain control of the vote, what do they have at that point? What do we have at that point? Like right now, we own 90% of AMC. We own the company, man. We own the decisions that they make, and we own the shares that they need to buy back. If they can buy them directly off AMC and directly off Adam Aaron, even if they're just buying votes to to vote to uh, control AMC and convert Ape to AMC, I don't like that part. I don't like that part at, at all. That's my that's my biggest hang up on this entire thing. If Ape came out, but there were no other shares of Ape that could be issued, I would be 100% in line with this idea. I would think that it's great. I still wouldn't think that it would expose synthetics, but I I would definitely think it's a great idea. I don't like the dilution part, especially since everybody voted against allowing authorized shares, but they're diluting anyway. That, it just it, it's exactly what we didn't want. Switch partnership video maybe uh, will be a Sh Shelly's in Japan, a seafood stand. Maybe sell some crabby patties or something. <laughs> oh god, Matthew, that would be hilarious, dude. If we got a Shelly's that was a, a shellfish company selling some crabby patties uh, by the by the seashore, yeah. Uh, and that, listen, that is speculation too, right? I, I know that I'm taking that those tweets out of context and trying to draw something from them. But nonetheless, we have seen Shitoshi tweet similarly in the past, and then it resulted in a Wellies and John Richmond partnership. So it would be interesting to see a Japanese partnership as well. But that would be, that would be funny. Dude. We got a little seashore stand with like a, one dude on, one dude with a, one of those little carts that he pushes along the beach selling some crab cakes or something. Hey bro, I'm not sure if you answered my question, but I was looking at my Ford stock and I'm trying to figure out how figure out we I got in at how many shares I got and if I am gaining or losing. Can you help me out? Yeah, King Mamba, man. Um, look, I don't know if what you're. I don't know if you're using Weeble or who you're using. So your Ford stock is this the the Ford stock that you got from your free share? Or is this another one? Because what you're going to be looking for is the cost basis. 
if you can see the cost basis on there, that's the price that you got in at. So if you're looking at Ford and it's trading at $15 right now, and it says your cost basis is you know $14, you would have gotten in at $14 a share. If it was $12, you know it'd be $12 a share. There's also you should have you should see a little green number if you're making money, which I assume you are if you got in any time recently. Um, that little green number in the percentage. There should be a red or green percentage as well. If the percentage is red and you've got like a, a negative couple dollars, that means you're losing money on the share. If if the percentage is green, then you are that's your profit. You would be profitable. Now, I do want to say this though, and this could be confusing. You may see a daily gain and a gain from your uh, like gain from open. The daily gain is how much you would have been making today. And that would be equivalent to Ford is up 3.07%, 3 3.01.07%. So you may see a 46 cent and 3% gain on the day. That's not, that doesn't indicate where, from where you bought it from, but that's how much you're making today. You should see next to your position, um, a cost basis and then a profit and loss and that would be your overall profit your overall loss and then what price you got in it so it does look like if you got in within the last one two three days if you got in august 3rd or after well if you get in on august 3rd there's a chance that you might be losing money right now but if you got in really any other day prior to april you're most likely making money right now and if you're on Weeble, all you got to do to see that, man, you can click, you can either click on Ford and then see your position under it, or you can click the little dollar sign under it. If you're on your phone and you click on Ford and then you click the little dollar sign down at the bottom, it should bring up your position and what you own there. Or you can click that, that center button down at the bottom, that bottom center button with the Weeble logo, or I mean, right when you open the app, it might have the, the microphone logo on it if you click that and then type in your password it's going to bring up your your actual portfolio and your trading portfolio there and you should be able to see all of the positions you own from that page uh, let's see uh, it's not the partnership video yes clipper i'm not sure saw that later everybody my gosh oh you know he does while demanding people come watch his <laughs> leg air float while taking a bath with his prize from for duckies <laughs> oh god okay i'm leaving i'm gonna slam my head against it no chris it's all good man good days guys good days chris will be the moment as we had before adam aaron a run amc board Frodo, I absolutely hope so, man. Makes sense for them to wait. To, if if they do, yes. Here's if they do, that would be very beneficial for them if they wait. If they're still viewing AMC as being overvalued, they may be trying to go for a quick cash grab or something. But I absolutely agree. They've got to be sitting on the edge of their seats, so excited right now, seeing AMC running up to twenty five dollars, knowing that they have five billion shares. At twelve dollars a share, I mean, think about that, man. They're, they've got sixty billion dollars in the bank right now. If they're able to continue milking it at that twelve dollar price point, if it jumps even higher, dude, that sixty billion dollars that they've got access to could turn into a hundred billion dollars cash that they'd have access to. It is definitely a, a good thing for AMC. I don't like it for retail investors, but nonetheless, they got to be excited right now. Guys, it is well past one o'clock. We're going to get off here for now. We'll do the shout outs. We will be back later. Thank you guys very much for such a great live stream today. And uh, I don't know, go watch the videos, click the like button, all that good stuff. And I will hit you with an ad on the way out. But nonetheless, man, thank you. 58 likes. Click the like button, guys. Try to get us over 100 likes. We got 125 people in here. Really appreciate everybody. We got Crypto Rocketeer. 
Boom, baby, dabbing on him as always. AMC Trevor, peace out of the diamond hand. Apes, later to USD. Vanguard, 888. Pika, have an awesome day. Crypto Rocketeer, Lucky Stars, Pringleton, John J, Keith Kemp, Pika, DD214. Haley, enjoy your afternoon. Uh, Frodo, see you later, man. Pringleton, J Bones, Corey, John J. Uh, I know we got Chris in here. We had some p other people in here. King Mamba, Keith, Ayo Papo, John J, Millhouse, Emma D, all of you guys. Ronald, man, later to you. Haley, you guys know what time it is. So if you want to say it with me, say it with me. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.